Hey guys, it's me, Malice, with this week's Crash Palace Age Rundown. The weekly preview of what's going on and what to expect in and around the Crash Palace Age community and server. First up this week, you may have noticed that our 1.1 War Week server is dying. It's dying a horrible death. To cut a long story short, the guys that we rent the server from have had to move all of the data from most of their servers over to a completely different data center. Now obviously this has taken some time, and as a result of it, we are going to be having a new IP address. Now that should be in the description below, and that server should be up and operational very, very shortly if it's not already. Don't forget that that server is still in War Week, so you will need the Planes and Guns mods installed in order to connect. Last Thursday saw a 1.2.4 full update. This isn't a snapshot, it is a full update. Now, there's loads of new things which have been added, mainly uh, new sandstone blocks, the ones with like hieroglyphics and stuff on it. We've also got new planks which have been added to the mix as well, so each type of log now has its own type of plank. We've been waiting for that one for a while. The majority of the changes though for this particular update were the bug fixes implemented by the Bucket team. Now there are loads and loads of bug fixes in this update, but probably the one that most people are going to be interested by is the death of the TNT ghosts. Yep, TNT ghosts are pretty much gone now. They do still turn up occasionally in multiplayer, but in single player, basically none at all. But the thing that I'm most intrigued by by this update are the new ocelot behaviours. The Bucket guys went to town on the AI there and uh, made them a bit more kind of cat-like. So now cats will jump up and sit on your bed, but they'll also jump up and sit on your chests and on your furnaces and on your workbenches as well, stopping you from being able to use them as long as they're there. You can still get in your bed whilst there's a cat on it, but you can't open a chest whilst the cat's on it, otherwise I guess you'll crush it against a wall or something, which is just no good and nobody needs that. Over on the Hate Me Gaming channel, Axel and Monkey are still wandering around the server doing their little bit of a walkabout. Last week they visited Mario Kart Island, and of course here is a quick look-see at that episode. How would you like an arrow in your head? I think I'd probably like it less than in the knee, but uh... Violent. Yeah, anyway, hello! Hello, how are you all doing? I hope you're all well. Um, America Island. As you can see, this is an absolute work of art. Um, it is a, a, a living, breathing, well not living and breathing, but you know, full on, total immersion, retro nostalgia artwork. I love it. I do like it too. I love it so much. I, I think the best thing about this is if we ever had cars back into uh, Minecraft, then um, it, it, the fact that you can change the trap to go in different ways around the island, it's just, it's awesome. And then this bit, like, I love the start and finish line. I mean, the fact that it's three-dimensional as well, it's not just a flat bit of art like the rest of it, it, it actually sticks out in places. It's just incredible, it really is. That was Hate Me's Axel and Monkey wandering around the Crash Palisades server like some kind of blocky hobos. Meanwhile, over here on the Crash Palisades YouTube channel, you may have noticed that the Redstone tutorial that I said would be up last week never got uploaded. I've been having huge amounts of problems with the rendering and things. It should all be sorted now, and again, if that episode is not up by the time that this rundown goes out, then it will be up very shortly afterwards. You may also have noticed this week that the Crash Palisades website is currently down and undergoing maintenance. Basically, I'm moving away from the Flash website that was there. It's far too fiddly to keep updated. And instead, I'm going to go back to my roots in HTML and CSS and JavaScript and stuff. So the website should be a lot easier for me to keep updated. But what kind of things would you guys like to see on the new website when I do get it updated? Let me know in the comments below. And finally this week, our 1.2 server hosted by Creeperhost has been up for nearly a week now and we've seen a plethora of new builds turning up and we've also got a couple of new users whose names will be flashing up on screen about now. Now I've been talking a lot about when Bucket updates in the future and I'm going to do so again. When Bucket updates in the future, this world that we're currently on will become the new alpha world. Spawn will be moved from the dirt island in the middle of that little ocean there out to the temp spawn area that Axel and I made. 
Meanwhile, a true location for spawn will be scouted for and found. And you should have access to all of the other Crash Palisades worlds as soon as possible. That's it for this week. Remember, if you're not currently a member of Crash Palisades, you can apply for build rights by registering at www.hate-me.co.uk and filling out the Crash Palisades application template on the forums. Join me next time for more Minecraft news, Crash Palisades and Hate Me Gaming related news and any recent and future goings on on and around the server. In the meantime, keep an eye on the websites, Twitter and of course the YouTube channels. That's all for this week, I hope you've enjoyed it and don't forget to leave us a like and a comment below. I've been Malice and I'll see you next time.